fo shabano kosi atalapante kidi bratali ka subrahadi shapanta lakataya hallelujah praise god thank you jesus hallelujah glory to god shalom the lord bless you i welcome you in the name <clears throat> Of Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says, God is faithful, by whom we were called to the fellowship of His Son, Jesus Christ. God is always faithful. He remains the same. He never changes. The Bible says, He's the same yesterday, He's the same today. And he's the same forever. God never changes. And that is one of the characteristics and the nature of God that have kept me thus far. If he did it before, he will do it again. If he did it for somebody else, he will do it for me. I trust and I believe so much. And that settles it in the name of Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> The title of this particular prophetic word says, you are ready. I say it again. The title of this particular prophetic word says, you are ready. And that is the title. You're ready. Now, as a matter of fact, you have been ready. Sing, 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 sing. But God had to work out a lot of things in you. God had to work out a lot of things about you. You must decide to come to a stage in your life where you take God serious. You must decide to get to that particular level where you say, I know God. I, I know God in the part of my life. That's what I'm talking about. You only know God better when you discover who you are better. So this particular prophetic word has a lot to do with your life around. It has to do with your financial life, your marital life, your job, your career, your business, your documents, and whatever it entails, it has to do with it. Sometimes we're praying to God and we're telling God, I want you to bless me in this manner. I want you to do this for me in this manner. You know, and in as much as we want God to bless us rapidly, in as much as we want God to bless us speedily, in as much as we want God to, want God to bless us good at the point and the times when we want it, there are times when God will want to prepare you for your blessings. There are times when God will want to prepare you for what he wants to do in your life. There are times when God wants to prepare you for everything that you want. Because destinies are not equal. There is somebody who is ahead of you right now. Thank God for them. God bless them. That's so amazing. But you must understand that not every destiny is equal. Not every destiny is the same. There is somebody whose destiny is to be ahead of you. There is somebody whose destiny is to be behind you. There is somebody whose life is, is for them to have their testimony first. There is somebody whose life is for you to have their testimony, your testimony before them. You must accept this and you must settle this in your heart. You must accept this and you must settle it in your mind. No matter what happens, that is how life is going to be like. God might come late in your life and that will make you the latest. Settle that and have peace. I say it again. God might come late in your life and that will make you the latest. Settle that and have peace. Somebody right now, God is saying you're ready. You've been waiting on God for a long time. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. The Bible says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. 
they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You've been waiting on God for a long time. And in all the time of your waiting, God was preparing you. In all the time of your waiting, God was doing a lot in your life, uplifting you. Excuse me, please. God was uplifting you. God was making you becoming a better person. God was doing something amazing and something different in your life. My dear friend, most of the times we are worried not knowing the preparedness of God will put us into a permanent miracle. The Bible says, for the blessings of God makes rich and adds no sorrow. And he, God, adds no sorrow. You know when a no sorrow is added? When God prepares you better. When you are prepared, thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Somebody, you have been prepared and you're ready. You connect yourself. I want to pray for you. You've been prepared and you're ready for that marriage. You've been prepared and you're ready for that visa. You've been prepared and you're ready for that overflow. You've been prepared and you're ready for whatsoever you're ready for. You have been prepared and you are ready. I want to trust and I want to believe God with you for the manifestation of his plans and his promises in your life. What the Lord has been preparing you for in the name of Jesus. I pray with you as you believe it right now, as you connect yourself. Let it manifest in the name of Jesus. What you want God to do for you, type it on the comment section and say, let it manifest in the name of Jesus. Let my marriage manifest in the name of Jesus. My visa, my finances, my ministry, my documents, my children, whatever, my health, begin to type it. My deliverance, let him manifest healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Connect yourself and begin to call for that manifestation. You are ready. It will happen. It will manifest. It will come true. It will come to pass. We will read it. We will testify. You will testify to the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It to manifest in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, if this has been of great blessings to you, I'll beg on your prayers. Please pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. And please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I see a lot of people sharing. God bless you. Amazing. I love you so much. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. You're just subscribing. You're welcome to the family. I love you. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.